this is session six of the Chester Step Test Seminars and it really now describes the latest additions that we've called Chester Step Test 2. CST2, as it's colloquially known, is software based. So the CST software is cloud based from www.chesterstep.com. So this is totally different as a concept because the step test, instead of having or requiring a laptop or a PC, can also be run on a smartphone or a tablet, which makes it far more portable and easy to use. So that's the first change. It's cloud-based software. Secondly, what we found is that if we take heart rates every minute, then the reliability of the prediction of aerobic capacity is much more improved from taking heart rates every two minutes as we did in the original chest step test version. So checking heart rates at one minute intervals gives us essentially double the number of heart rates from which to predict aerobic capacity. The estimation of maximum heart rate is always an issue and there are so many different equations that have been used to try and identify more accurately what a person's maximum heart rate is. The two that we've decided to use in uh, CST2 are to maintain 220 minus age, the Fox equation for under 40s, but for those participants who are over 40, the equation to be used is the Tanaka equation from 2001. And that is heart rate max is 208 minus 0.7 times age. And this is intended to improve the overall improvement, accuracy, reliability and validity. So the CST software is cloud-based and you would see this screen which basically asks for a license number. This can be obtained from Cartwright Fitness and with the license number that the uh, person would, would pay for, depending on the extent of the testing, whether you're a small use tester or whether you're a brigade or a force where you're testing perhaps thousands of, uh, of people, then you could have a license number that would take you straight into the software. So the software, as you can see, is, is quite, quite different. Here, all the instructions are on the screen. The par Q exercise questionnaire is a drop-down menu. The various medical contraindications and various other aspects of the test requirement pre-test are asked for. And then the details of the participants, name, age and sex are required fields to be inputted. In other words, all the patient information, the subject, participant information, is put onto the first screen. Heart rate max is calculated and the test will be stopped at whatever the uh, computer will, will decide. Step height can be selected from 30, 25, um, 20 or 15. And then below you can see that the audio uh, contains the um, instructions for conducting CST2. So there's no need for a separate CD um, or ghetto blaster. The whole thing can be done from the smartphone or, or tablet. Um, as the test progresses, the heart rates can, and perceived exertion can be tapped into the screens below. And at the end of the test, the uh, calculate button can be pressed and the results screen will give you um, a more accurate assessment of aerobic capacity where more data points have been taken. There's no option of a graphical data sheet but rather the line of best fit is drawn uh, by the computer statistical regression line to, to produce the most accurate value uh, that we can get from a test of this nature. The bottom um, uh, norms table will tell you the result and where this fits in terms of fitness category.